Hello and welcome to this week's USA Table Tennis Equipment Review. Thank you for joining us. I'm Matt Hetherington and this week I'm reviewing the Risen P rubber from Yola. So to keep consistent with my Yola reviews I decided to put it on the Yola Aruna Off Blade which is the same blade and I used the same backhand rubber also that I used in my previous review of the Max 450. Um, it is of course a plastic ball rubber so it was created specifically when the ball changed to the plastic ball um, so they tried to kind of add more grip to the top sheet more porous kind of air pockets in the sponge um, in order to help you achieve more speed and spin and this was one of the first opportunities I'd had to use it so um, I was really looking forward to seeing kind of what the differences were and immediately I felt it was a very strong and high performing rubber. I felt like it was at the kind of top of the line of Yola's rubber products. And in my top spin warm ups, um, I felt it was great for forehand. Um, my initial impressions of forehand looping were I got a lot of forehand loops on and kind of high speed and really good spin. Um, I did try it on my backhand as well to see kind of how it would feel or whether it would feel different at the end of that warm up and by the time I kind of finished doing all the different drills that I was putting it through I felt like it would be suited to forehand or backhand um, or both I mean it's really well suited for kind of uh, aggressive players who play a you know, whether it's close to the table or mid distance or further back, it kind of covers all those ranges really well. So, good for two wing attackers, whether you want it on your backhand or your forehand or both. Um, it was really strong. I think the big strength that stood out for me was that it was really strong once you get into a top spin situation. So, um, very reliable on serve receive and on serve. So there are a few situations here where I'm doing some serve receive stuff. Um, it's very reliable in those areas of keeping the ball short, keeping the ball tight. Um, it doesn't really have any outstanding faults. Um, the areas where it's a little bit weaker are good, and the areas where it has strengths are great. So uh, overall it was a very impressive rubber, and I really enjoyed doing this review with it. Uh, so I went on to do some service drills um, where I tried kind of doing some openings, um, playing kind of topspin rallies where I was trying to change the ball direction a little bit just to see how I handled that. Um, against underspin, very comfortable opening the first ball. Um, I found I could get a lot of spin on the first ball and maybe it's not particularly suited to playing winner speed third ball but you can play fast and I felt whether you were playing kind of through your body more and more athletically or whether you're playing with your hands you can still generate quite a high amount of acceleration and uh, I think for this rubber uh, it's one of those rubbers that generates a lot of pace through spin acceleration. Um, so you don't really have to hit the ball hard, you have to brush the ball fast. And that that's what gets you your acceleration. And it can cause your opponent or your training partner a lot of difficulty because you can generate a lot of spin. So I tried it across a number of these different areas. Um, I felt at the end of it it was really strong on the forehand. I did try some backhand exercises, which it was reasonably good at. Um, you know, as I said, I would potentially use it on either side or on both. Um, I played close to the table, I played mid, I played back from the table. And uh, yeah, I, I just really found like it was solid in a great number of areas. The, num the amount of range that this, this rubber has um, it was really impressive. So I felt like it was one of the better Yola rubbers that I tried out. If I was going to use Yola as my choice of rubber, I would pick the Risen P, personally. Um, 
So make sure you check out my written review on USATT.org. It's going to have a lot more detail in about the rubber. And thank you for joining us. Look forward to you tuning in for our next review, which will be of the Butterfly Rosina. Thanks, guys.